Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to create printable gift tags that you can give to your loved ones or sell it on marketplaces like Etsy and Creative Market. First, we are going to draw the clip art in Procreate and then we're going to use that clip art in Canva. As usual, I'm going to be using the Sublime Watercolor Brush Pack and the cold pressed canvas that is included. You can use whatever brush you have because the focus of this tutorial is really the gift tags at the end, so yeah. So now I am starting to draw a sketch and I'm using the 6B pencil and I'm going to draw a stocking. It's like a Christmas stocking. So I really didn't like this line here, so I'm going to redraw that. Drawing some shapes within the stocking. When you're done with the sketch, you can make a new layer. And this is where we will start to color. And I'm going to select a dark red. And from the Sublime Watercolor Pack, I'm selecting the Hard Edge Round Brush. And I'm going to start to color it in. So this brush is great because it creates this hard edge that looks like real watercolor. And to keep that hard edge as much as possible, it is really important to make sure that these hard edges show up along the sketch line. So it's important to follow the sketch line and try not to go over that line. And when you have overlaps like this, you can blend it using the basic blender. When blending, it's best to blend with small strokes because if we go over the line like this, we will have to erase that hard edge effect that we just created. So we really want to blend carefully without going outside the line. Let's go back to the sketch layer and bring down the opacity so that we can see the hard edge effect. Just like before, I'm going to color in the rest of the stocking. In some places, you can add extra strokes like this to make the area darker and create contrast. And I'm going to add in some details and patterns to make it look a bit more pretty. Once you are done painting, you are going to merge all of the layers together, including the sketch layer. And now we need to remove the white background to make this into a PNG file. As you can see, it looks weird if we just remove the background colors. So I have done a video on how to remove backgrounds from an image without losing the watercolor paper texture. So if you'd like to see it done step by step, please check out that video. I will link it in the description box below. But for this video, I'm going to speed things up and show you just a quick process of how I remove the background and save it into a PNG file. Now, I'm on Canva and we are going to use the free version. First, we go to create a design and select US letter size because that's what most printers work with. And we go into elements first and then scroll all the way down and go to grid, view all, and then select First of all, let's just zoom in here. Select the first square and bring down the size like this so that it looks like a gift tag. And then we're going to go back, 
scroll down and then go into frames and I'm looking for a diamond shape here it is and resize it so that the size matches to the width of the rectangle let's just zoom in here so that we can see after you place it you want to send this diamond to the back so let's click and then send backward and now I just want to resize it a bit that looks pretty good now what we want to do is color the gift tag so we click on the color um, box on the top and then select the color that we want and then select the diamond and color that in as well so now you have a pink gift tag but if we want to have a white gift tag we can go back and select white but the problem is that we can't really see the design when it's colored white so what we want to do is color the background like this and let's add a tiny circle so that you know where to punch the hole I'm just going to resize it and place it in the middle at the top when the design is complete we can select the whole thing by dragging your mouse on the top and selecting everything and copying and pasting it and then I'm going to select the two and then copy and paste Now that we have completed our template, we can go into the upload section and upload our clip art. You can place it like this, and I'm just going to cut the sides down. And I'm going to resize it so that it fits the gift tags. And when you place it, you will notice that the background disappears. And I'm not really sure why it does that, but you can undo it like this. And finally, we can add some text. Like this. I'm going to delete that. And size it down. And you just place it on top. Basically, that's how you make gift tags. It's really easy, right? Here, I have a set that I've made previously and I just wanted to show you as an example. And I've hand-drawn these images and uploaded them and uh, made them into PNG files and put them on the gift tags. They look pretty cute, right? If you'd like to save your ink, you can definitely remove the color from the background and make colored gift tags instead. I'm going to leave a link for the blank template so that you guys don't have to make this from scratch. As for the printing paper, I recommend something really sturdy like a cardstock paper or a fine art paper like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy tutorial today. 
I often see people selling these online and they seem to do pretty well, so you might want to try that out. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful holiday season, everybody.